And I'm going to talk to you about Hiroyuki Imaishi. And, uh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. No name. Um, Imaishi is one of the founding members of the newly formed studio Trigger. Uh, he formerly worked at Gynex and Production IG. Some of his big claims to fame are directing both Gurren Lagann and Panty and Stocking. Uh, his art style really shows through in Gurren Lagann. He actually drew all the commercial eye catches during the commercial breaks. Yeah, he drew all of those. Um, he, 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 like Kanata before him, Imaishi likes to utilize these uh, heavy interior block shading techniques. I've got an example up here. And you can see uh, Kanata style is full of a lot more uh, shiny parts. And <coughs> is sort of like unnecessarily complex, while Imaishi is like sort of simplified. Um, Imaishi style comes very close to Kanata's, but not, does not quite mimic it completely. The Maishi shading technique is a bit less ornate, and in a side-by-side, -side, I would almost call it the minimalism version of Kanata style. Um, Imaishi style can sort of be considered an evolution of kan uh, Kanata's when referring to movement. Both of these guys have the same take on how, to animate a, uh, how an animated subject should navigate an animated space. Their subjects snap from striking pose to striking pose. So, um, there, there's a very posed-based movement pass. The focus is more on these main poses than the motion that happens between the poses. What has evolved from Kanata to Amaishi is the warping and dynamic aesthetic of these key poses. So um, Amaishi takes it way further than Kanata did and bends the characters to kind of these extremes and will pop like legs and arms way out in the front of the scene and like you know, the bodies, like, and the heads, like, really far back. He, he does this on purpose, and it, it... Kanata did it a little bit, but not nearly as much or as far as Imaishi did. So I've got um, a little clip show of some of Imaishi's stuff, and we ignored Gurren Lagann and Pantheon Stockings for this because there's probably stuff you haven't seen. So let's do it. an OVA that came out a few years ago called Re Cutie Honey, and there's a great bit where she gets hit and her body actually turns into a wiggly noodle between poses here, and it's kind of awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, but she's, she's, it's not really concerned about what she's doing, in or the characters are doing in between their poses. He's more concerned about, like, making as many cool, interesting poses composed on the screen as possible. And Kanata did this a lot before him, just not as crazy. This is a, a video game intro from Brave Fencer Misashi 2. I think it was Square. Amaishi actually has a lot of um, episode director credits in various shows, so uh, at the end of the panel, um, you should go look him up and, and see what you can see that he's done, because uh, when he comes onto a show, it, it, it kind of changes for a singular episode, and that's nice to see. Um, so moving along here, Sean is going to tell us about Ichiro Itano and the Itano Circus.